This is code.org, and it looks like we're going to deal with stairs, kind of like we dealt with in the drawing lesson. Let's see. Uh, move forward until you get to the lettuce. Until. Okay. So I can know right away I'm going to use an until. Repeat until there's lettuce. And what did they ask me to do until there's lettuce? They said move forward. Ooh. Notice this one right here? That means you only need to use this one time, which seems impossible. Look at all the forwards we got to go. But we're only supposed to use move forward once, so I guess we're going to use several repeat blocks or until blocks and and. We're supposed to use, I have two blocks in use out of the nine I can. Let's see how this works so far. I should just go for it and yep, I stop when there's lettuce. Now obviously, I shouldn't leave crops behind, so I want to pick the lettuce. I think that lettuce though, there's one right now. Oh, it doesn't randomize, but I want to be able to use this pick over and over. So I'm going to say, as long as there is lettuce there, I'm going to say, hey, hey, pick that lettuce. Boom. And remember, when a, when a repeat block is done, so repeat until there's lettuce. I will walk forward until there is lettuce. So repeat until there is lettuce. Okay. There's no lettuce. Repeat until there's lettuce. Is there lettuce? Nope. Oh, okay. Do move forward. I move forward, I hit the bottom, I go back to the top, repeat until there's lettuce. Are you at lettuce? Nope. Oh, okay, do move forward. So I'd move forward again. And at that point, I'm at the lettuce. Is there lettuce? Yeah. Okay, well then I'm done with this code. I don't go forward again, I'm done. And I run whatever code's underneath, which happens to be asking the computer to make my character pick lettuce now. All right, then what am I gonna wanna do? Well, I'm gonna wanna turn right, and then it looks like I would move forward and then turn left, wait, move forward, and then I'm going to what? Repeat until, oh, okay. Depending on how much, because notice at the end here, we want to turn right, but then we want to just keep walking to those lettuce, just to make sure that they didn't put an extra step in here. So I'm going to turn right and say, hey, keep walking until you find lettuce. And what do we want to do when we do? find that lettuce? While there's lettuce, we want to make sure to pick all of it. Well, then what do I want to do? Hmm, I'd be here, so I'd want to turn left. Okay, and after I turn left, what do I want to do? Well, I'm gonna, as long as there's not lettuce, I want to keep walking, keep moving forward, and then once there is lettuce, I'm gonna want to, while there's that lettuce, pick it. Let's hit run and see where this gets us. Looking good, and I know I have way too much code so far. Okay, so look, if we, and then what would I do here? I would turn right. Now, if we were to break this out, really all of this code is almost, well, these two are the exact same. The only difference with this one is that turn left. Other than that, this code, repeat until, while there is lettuce, is the exact same. So we could say repeat however many times, okay? However, this turn thing. And this is what we saw in the last one. There's a, a new block, and it's an if block. If there's a path to the left, we can tell the computer to turn left, right? If there's a path to the right, turn right. And what this enables us to do, so the computer will always only do one of these. This is an if block, or an if statement. If there's a path to the left, the computer says true. Yep, there's a path to the left. What are we going to do? Well, we'll turn left. The computer will not turn right. You can only do one. You can never do both. So the computer says, true, you have a path on the left side of you. And it goes, oh, okay, well, then do turn left. However, if the character says, no, I don't have a path. If, if path to left, false, no path, no path. And it says, oh, okay, do, nope, there's no path. So I never turns left, else. So if there's no path, if there's a path, do this. Otherwise, turn right. So if there's a path to left, turn left. At all other points, you're going to turn right. So if there's no path, what do we do? We turn right, we don't turn left. This lets us turn each direction when we need to. I think all we would need with this is to have it repeat all a loop under a loop inside of a loop. And I don't think I'm running it enough times. Let's try seven, maybe. Who knows? What's great about code is you can always be wrong. You can always test it a bunch. And notice, it checks, and it will only run one of these turn left or turn right. In fact, I want to show you. Let's step through our code. And here, so stepping through lets you see each line run. I'm going to hit step. And right now it's saying, is there a path to the left? 
and it checked and there was no path to the left so it only turned right notice left was never highlighted because left is never ran unless there's a path to the left then it will highlight the left section right now it does and next it will highlight right but not left oh we were so close Woohoo! We did it! These are getting complicated. Onward.